Hello and welcome back to the Railway Men. Whew. National League South time. As you can see, we have been allocated into the South along with. Uh, it's only one other. Who was it? Who was it? Who was it? Who was it? Ah, Worthing. Worthing, who also got promoted. Uh, they're apparently. They've got Tin and Parker, by the way. So. Yeah. They're apparently a lot better than us. Uh. Well, yeah, I don't know about that, but we'll look at the season preview to start stuff off. As you can see, uh, we're predicted to finish 20th. I don't think we will. I think we could do mid-table. Well, we could even challenge for playoffs. I mean, who knows? Uh, saying that, our players are not very high rated. That actually... Our two best players are the worst two best players in the league. So it could be a struggle, but we'll find a way. We always find a way. We are... Okay. Well. I'm going to scout. Like, these were 30... Okay. Basically, let's... I just want... something I want to have a look at. If we go team at... Team detail... No, can't look at wages. Cool. Fine. Anyway, to start to start off the season. We go to York Road. I will run you through the transfers. We haven't made too many, to be honest. Uh, Charlie Blanks. We're trying to get in as sort of a backup centre back. He's all right. Uh, Adam Ford. We got on a free. Sort of just a backup midfielder. Uh, Christian Scott. We got on loan from Alfredson. Really good, well balanced centre midfielder. Good sort of everything. He's going to play as sort of a deep line playmaker in our team, rather than having a box to box. Uh, Balogun, we got on loan from Dagenham. He he will be quite important for us this year, I'd assume. Uh, Fourteen finishing, ah, ten dribbling. He's a good. Po he's a very good poacher. His stamina kind of lets him down, but we can bring him off and we can bring Parrot on if we need. Uh, Brad Smith, backup centre back from Cray. He's all right. Six foot three. Tommy Rayner, really, really, really good signing in this one. Uh, on loan from Chesterfield. Venner on the national side. Uh, one I wouldn't mind picking up on our free. If we could. 18 years old, you know. Two months younger than me. That's fun, isn't it? But yeah, 15 first touch at this level is uh, it's a bit of a joke. Has he got like 13 passing as well? He's going to be quite good. Uh, and uh, Paul Ward. Young striker. Can come in and do a job at sort of a pressing forward if we desperately need. 13 free kick taking means he'll be banging them in for fun. Anyway. Maidenhead at York Road. Uh, it's not a very nice sponsor, is it? Uh, in comparison to us, I have assumed Maidenhead will be printed to finish quite high up. We'll just check. Maidenhead <laughs> evens to go up. Cool! Cool! We, we're going to get absolutely thrashed. Uh, very defensive might not be a bad idea, you know. We weren't very defensive for pre-season, so we didn't waste a lot of stamina. I suppose we should go cautious. You see, Balogun's not got much fitness. Neither does the Groot or Rayner. So maybe we... Yeah, we'll go for it. <sighs> Come on. Let's do it. Up the diddy, up the diddy, up the diddy. Their team, do we have any familiar names? Gordon, is he? He was at West Ham. He never played for West Ham, has he? No. Good. Played a couple of times for Peterborough. One point he once went for one point five million. That's more than our that's a whole lot more than our club is worth. Uh We're just gonna. A good team talk is vital today. We're gonna go cautious. Just do us proud, lads. Do us proud. Are we gonna go cautious? We're gonna go attacking. <laughs> I can't stop myself. I just love attacking football. Shimalo, a 
Keto. Rayner. Forward to Woodley. First chance of the season. Straight to the hands of Boot. But that's promising. We can still create chances against much better opposition uh, than we used to. To be fair, we've got... I, I haven't shown you the preseason results. Uh, we got some... We got some good draws. And we actually beat Bristol City, who are obviously quite good. As Balogun moves forward here. Loses out the, on the ball. Gordon's been given way too much time. Brissett. Great challenge. Can't stop him. Well away, but it is a penalty. It's Rayner who's giving it away. Gordon. Scores. I'm really annoyed because we shouldn't be giving away penalties. It was uh who was it who gave it away? It was Rayner. Where does Rayner play? Midfielder, the young midfielder, right? Tommy Wreck oh god damn it, Tommy. Anyway, ball over the top. Balligan. Oh, has to score. Come on! Two clear cut chances now. And it's quite scarily Maidenhead coming down the other end. Out of play. Come on! We've had two clear-cut chances from our two shots. It's so annoying. We don't deserve to be losing. They're, they just got a penalty and they scored it. Over the top ball, Woodley. Another clear-cut chance incoming! Another miss! God damn it! Three clear cut chances. Are you taking the. Calm down. That's what I need to say. Calm down. Slot it home. Oh, Rainer's just having an awful game, isn't he? Apparently, he's doing better than McNish, which I can't, can hardly believe after giving away a penalty. Yeah, it was. Give him a kick up the backside. You've been shocking. Need to just take your chances, lads. But no, no, a good Rainers. He's so aggressive. What is aggression? 15 aggression. Well, that makes sense then. God damn. That is an aggressive man. That is a very angry man. Where are we in the table? Yeah, we're not bottom. I mean, that's something, isn't it? Might need to bring on Parrot in a bit. For Woodley. Balligan. Ball over the top. Oh my god! Okay, we've not deserved to lose this game, I don't feel. It's kind of been a, quite a boring one. I feel like we could do quite well this season. Uh, it's early days, but... I'm going to bring on Woodley. The Parrot, even. Just Woodley's not been good enough, I'm afraid. Hate to admit it, but he's just not been good enough. You know, you've got to be taking these chances. McNish with a corner. We know he's good at set pieces. That's a penalty. And he's going to take it. McNish for our first ever sixth tier goal. Come on, please. Just bury it, son. Goalkeepers are getting better. Might be able to save it. Does save it! No! 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 What the f... What's happening? We've dominated! We can't buy a goal. I wish we could. Well, we had no money, so we couldn't even in the first place. Oh, if they score another goal against the run of play. Good. Parrots. I'm fuming. I'm fuming. Rainer, don't mess it up. Smith, out to... Okay. Get it out wide. Get it out wide. Okay. Parrots. Come on. Why is that a highlight then? Get my hopes up. Better score from here. Rayner. Maidenhead free kick. Oh, what the f... Oh, genuinely, we've been robbed. We have been robbed of at least a point. 
They've had four of their... We've had five clear-cut chances, for God's sake! McNish. Almost a spectacular free kick. It's not going to be enough. We've lost this game! How have we lost? I can't... I physically just... For God's sake. For God's sake. Main head of one of the best teams in the league. That's what we have to view this as. Like, we expect to lose away from home to them, but it was a game we should have won. It was a game we really should have won. Uh... It's only going to be a one-game episode. Uh, we'll come back for the FA Cup or the... Uh, what, what comes first, by the way? Uh, oh, FA Cup by quite a way. Yeah, we'll come back for the FA Cup. Uh, thank you for watching. If you did enjoy, please do leave a like. Subscribe if you're new and turn notifications on. I've been a rather frustrated Rouge DC-17. And I'll see you in the next episode. Cheerio. All die verschwommenen dunklen Bilder werden klar Und alles, was sie sagt, wird wahr Ich bin so schön verstrahlt Ich heb ab zum Mars 10.000 Grad 10.000 Farben Bin so schön verstrahlt Ich denk nicht mehr nach